Welcome to Binance. If you're here, it's because you're looking for the most secure, most innovative, most dynamic cryptocurrency trading platform available, and I think you found it. In the following video, we're going to show you reasons on why we think Binance is the best for you to get started right away. In this video, we're going to show you how to register for a Binance account, how to deposit money safely, how to withdraw money so that you can actually take your profits and proceeds when you need, and how to trade and make the most of both the basic and advanced tools if you're an advanced cryptocurrency trader. We can't wait to show you what we're excited about here at Binance, so let's get started. Okay, so here's the homepage of Binance. Let's get started right away. To find your registration, go into the upper right-hand corner and click Register. Then, enter your email address, a safe password. If you have a referral ID, someone referred you to Binance, please enter it there so they get credit. I agree to Binance's term of use and register. It will then have prove you're not a robot test. It will then ask for an email verification. When your confirmation arrives, simply click verify email. Your account is activated and then you are ready to log in. Now that you've registered to log in, Simply go into the upper right hand corner and click login. Enter your email address and your secure password. Click login and then prove you're not a robot. And you are ready once you've accepted the risks and operate under these safety procedures, you click I understand and continue and you're ready to begin setting up your account. Since we strongly recommend that you enable two-factor authentication, go ahead and click the two-factor authentication method you prefer. Once you've downloaded the method you prefer, click Next Step. With Google Authentication, make sure you have the Google Authenticator app. Click Add New Barcode and then scan the barcode available. Make sure for now you save the key on the screen on paper and then enter two-factor authentication by entering your key your login password that you use for your username and password and the two-factor authentication code provided in the Google Authenticator app. Success! You're now ready to use Binance and get ready for your deposit. To begin using Binance and actually trade, you need to fund your account. To deposit money, log into your account, go to Funds, Deposits, choose the currency that you currently carry. In my case, I've chosen Ethereum. Copy the deposit address, and from your wallet, such as Coinbase or another wallet that you prefer, enter the address, enter the amount that you'd like to send, make a note if you wish so you can track, and click Submit. It will send you a two-factor authentication request. Usually, if you're set up with Coinbase or another wallet of the kind, you will have a two-factor authentication of some kind or a password to enter. Click Confirm, and your transaction is on the way. Now, if you'll notice, many coins will be deposited immediately after a certain amount of network connections, and this number might change. 
please be patient while the cryptocurrencies network confirms your deposit. You can always check on your fund deposit by simply going to funds and transaction history. It'll show you the address, it'll show you the time initiated, and it will show you how many confirmations the network has provided on the Ethereum network for your transfer. Now to check on your deposit, simply go to funds and deposits. You will see a history of your deposits. You could also see the transaction history and see that you've now completed and now under funds and balances you should see the balance that you have deposited. You can see the value in US dollars, you can see the value in Bitcoin, and you can see the value in the currency itself. To withdraw your funds is as simple as depositing your funds. From the dashboard, simply go to Funds, Withdraws, select the currency you have that you'd like to withdraw. Once you've selected the cryptocurrency you want, you can see your balances. You can see some of the terms here. You'll want to input your recipient address from your other wallet, such as Coinbase. And you want to choose an amount. Now this amount, it, amount will be below the minimum for Ethereum, so it will show a warning. And then it will show the transaction fee. You would click Submit, and the request would go through. To withdraw your funds from your dashboard, simply go to Funds. You could do this one of two ways. Go to Funds, Balances, and then next to your balance, click Withdraw. Or, from the dashboard, go to Funds and Withdraws, and you get to the same screen. Select the cryptocurrency you plan on withdrawing. Enter the destination address where you plan on sending or withdrawing your funds. Enter the max or minimum amount. In this case, the minimum amount is 10 IOTA. Understand that you'll be paying a transaction fee and then click Submit. Once you've submitted, keep in mind, we'll send you a confirmation email. You then click on the confirmation email, it confirms your transaction, and then, similar to making deposits, you can track the progress on the fund's transaction history page. So you've learned how to register, how to deposit, and how to withdraw funds. Now, it's the fun part, and that's where we learn how to trade. So, from your dashboard, you can simply see what balances you have available to trade with by going to Funds and Balances. But if you know that you actually want to make a purchase, you can actually trade in one of two ways, in the basic or the advanced. We'll start with the basic. In the basic screen, you'll actually see a list or a screen like this that will show you some of the transactions occurring both in sales and in purchases. You'll see the ability to make limit orders, market orders, or stop limit orders. If you don't know what these mean, please see the documentation under support. You can also see the trade history of the market, your own trade history. You can see here that I've purchased or transacted several PIVX to Ethereum. And then in the upper right hand corner, you can see the various trading pairs available to you. So, in our case, we're actually going to look at the PIVX to Ethereum exchange. What we're going to do is we want to buy PIVX. Another favorite for many people is Ripple. You can see Ripple is down a little bit. You can see that the market trade history is a little mixed. Let's say you wanted to buy Ripple. You could buy a limit order, a market order, or a stop limit order. For the purposes of this example, we're actually going to make a simple limit order. 
When you put your cursor in here, it will show you the max amount that you can trade, or it'll show you quick defaults. If the max amount is 42, you'll say, I just want to trade 25% of the max amount, 50% of the max amount, 75 or 100%. In our case, we're simply going to do 25% of the max amount we could purchase with our Ethereum balance. My reasoning is I want to save some Ethereum for other purchases. I click Buy XRP and it says Succeeded. You can probably see your trade history here at 922 purchasing 10 XRP at $1.20. You can see your orders and your open orders under orders and open orders. It says we have no open orders, so we'll look at order history. And I just made a market purchase, which has already been filled for 10 XRP. You can see these funds, other funds, balances. Please note that depending on the cryptocurrency you purchased, there might be a delay in showing the cryptocurrency you purchased. Mine shows a little bit less than 10, and that's likely because the transaction fees. It's nominal enough compared to standard stock market trading that I'm not worried about it. Then you can also see your general trade history of the things you've purchased. That's how you purchase a cryptocurrency. Similarly, you could always sell a cryptocurrency by going to funds and balances or going to the exchange. But it's actually quick and easy just to go to funds balances, which is where we are, and go to trade and decide what you'd like to sell your item for. You go to that page, same information, but in this case, you'd actually go to sell and it would tell you the rate. And similar, you can sell up to 29, you can sell 25%, 50%, 75%. For the purposes of this example, I'm going to sell a market order of 25%. Now for those of you who know the value of what you're trading, you'll probably want to use a limit order and that way it won't get filled unless it hits the price that you've asked. For me, I'm just going to go with the market trade, 25% of the iota I hold, and I'm going to sell the iota, succeed. You can then see the trade history that we've sold. You can check to see if you have any open orders. If you have none, most likely it's already been filled and you can see my sell order already filled. You can even gain details of that order if you wish. You can see an overall trade history and then go back to your fund balances and see I have a little bit more Ethereum, a little bit less IOTA. That's how you buy and sell. Now, that's the basic exchange. The advanced exchange will go into another time, but let me show you some of the extensive trade detail. You can see that there's a lot more going on. There's a lot more tools available to those who are experienced with currency trading, a lot more data to pull from to make good decisions, multiple views. In a future tutorial, we'll show you how to make the most of some of these tools. But for now, that's it. That was the advanced trading platform, which we'll cover in another video. But we've covered the basic exchange platform, and you should be ready to trade. In short, we've shown you how to register for a Binance account, how to deposit funds safe and securely, how to withdraw funds so that you can use them as you need, and how to make a trade in the basic exchange platform so that you can get involved in cryptocurrency. If you have any questions, please click the support link in the upper right-hand menu of the Binance website, and thank you for using Binance.